students now you all have started studying data file handling in 12th computer science now data file handling you all have started with your text files binary files and csv files now there are many queries asked by the students so this video is specially to solve those type of queries now we have started with data file handling we have seen the new syllabus in our new syllabus we are having in data file handling what is the need three different types of files text file binary file and csv file comma separated files in text file we have studied open and close how to open a file how to close a file how to read from a file how to manipulate the data from a text file add data or append data into text file standard input output and error streams relative and absolute path so this is the syllabus for text file in binary files we have learnt using pickle module and using do load and dump we are writing and reading from the file we are creating the file we are searching adding or appending and we are updating in binary files all these things we are using in our project also and in practical file also we are writing in csv comma separated values we have already used reader and writer and write row to write each row at a time or as well as write rows also we have used to write multiple rows at a time so we have already done these in the previous video you have seen how to solve these questions that is to count characters either upper case alphabets or vowels so here using read you have solved these questions so these type of questions already you have seen in board paper sample paper they have asked these type of questions and the solution is already shared with you now one new question has been asked in that question how to write from one file to a, another file this we will learn today so first we'll start from the beginning how to write in any file suppose any file is given to you it can be student student one any file is given to you so we have already learned this method that first any identifier you can use then using open and the file name a is for append you can use here w also right right will overwrite it append will add at the end of the file so you are taking from the user enter the names of the students and we are writing the names of the students in the file and after writing each name we are changing the line so when you will be asked to print the names so it will show here the names has been written in the file and now to read the names and display it what are the code to read we have to again open the same file in read mode here you can see in previously append mode we have used because we were adding the names in that file if you want to use w that also i will show you how to use w it will override the name so only the new names will be existing but in append all the old names as well as the new names both will be there now here read i have used to read from the same file and then a read function will collect all the names and it will store in this txt file now all the names if you want to print then all names of the students all names you can print so here you can see one by one when you will run this program it will ask for a name and when you will enter any name suppose you have entered here a name so you can see here that it is adding the name at the end you can see just now i have entered one name and in that file previously some names were all already there so whenever you want to add like here a new name it has added now again when you will run it again it will ask for a name again if you uh, enter a name suppose any name you are entering and then you can see it is adding at the end of the text file so this student dot text file is containing all the names and whatever names you want to add it will add at the end now we will learn today how to we have already seen how to display some selected names suppose names starting with r 
in the previous questions we have already done that only some selected names we wanted to see so those names it was showing now today we are going to do that copying from one file to another file so from student dot txt file we, we are copying in a second file here i have given the name as to any name whatever is given in the question suppose in the question if it is given in para dot txt you have to write it so you can copy and you can write in the second file so here copy selected names starting with r from student dot txt file to stu dot txt file now just now what i have done i have changed the name of this file these names were written here i have changed it to student 1 so here also i am writing here student 1 i want to change this file so from student 1 it will copy now you can see here 1 2 3 4 names i have entered and it will read all the four names but here only the name starting with r will be written in the second file that is two dot text so in this one name is there with r let us write one more name here i am running here one with r we need one name so suppose i am writing here one more name here now when you are you can see here when you are running it the name is added at the end now you are having two names so these two names it will write in the second file stu stu.txt so copy selected names starting with r from student1.txt to stu.txt so this is our question now you can see from one file we have to copy in a second file so the file from which you want to copy that is opened in read mode clear and the file in which you want to copy it it is copy it is written in w so here you can see if you write here w then what will happen you can mention here append mode also suppose append mode means it will add at the end so once if you have written all right let it be w only append what will it will do it will add at the end so again second time when you will run again those names it will add it and then it will show i will show you with append also now how to do it the file which you are reading student1.txt so c you have collected so yes c.read.split means one by one name it will collect here and after that after using split command split is used to split into words so any file text file it can split into words so here read is reading the complete text file and split it is splitting into names or words so here one by one word it is collecting and it is checking if the first character for first character index value i have used here so n of zero means the index value i have used and first character if it is small r or capital r means any r then it will write in f so it is reading from c and it is writing in f c means student one dot text and writing in stu dot text so here f dot write so one by one name it is writing now at the end it will close and then it will display the details of stu dot text how to display the details simply in read mode you will open it you will read it and you will print the file so here when you will run this program you can see here that after running it two names we have given there raj and ria so those two names it has displayed that is in this file only two names were starting with r so here you can see these two names are starting with r so it is over so here we have used only words now i want to display the whole line line means suppose the name contains some words here you can see there are some names full names that is first name middle name last name like this full names are there now here i am using here to create the file all right i will same way i will create the file in append mode i am creating it writing all the names and then displaying the names over but when i want to copy from one file to another i am using here read lines why because read lines will collect 
whole line to names all the lines and then line by line it is reading here for n in names complete line it is reading if the line is starting with r then it is displaying those names you can see the lines starting not the words in the previous case it was words so only first name was written and i was using their split command to read the words and checking it and then displaying it but in this question the complete name not the first name so here what i have used i have used here read lines all the lines will be there in names then i have used here for loop so one by one name it will collect full name and then if those lines are starting with zero then it is writing in a second file that is two.txt file so today you have learned how to copy from one file to another file so the first file will be in read mode from where you are reading the content and in which file you are writing you have opened in write mode and then if it is word wise name first name or any word wise then you will use read.split and here since it was line wise so i have used here read lines all the lines it has copied then one by one line it has checked so here full name it has checked and if the name first character means zero index value if it is starting with r whatever you want if you want with a then you can write here a suppose here these are i want to check a here the name starting with a so what you will do the names starting with a now when you will run this program what you will see that only those names only one name was there which was starting with a ankita pathak so it has displayed that name so here the name starting with a it is displaying and how to display it simply for displaying we are using here directly read and we are displaying we haven't done any, anything else we have opened the file in read mode we have used read function to collect all and we have used simply print text only from for writing from one file to another i i want to use read function read line function and read lines function you have already seen that for solving these type of questions what we have to learn we have to learn here file dot read function whole file it will read file dot read dot split word wise it will save in a identifier read line line wise and read lines all the lines clear so like this we have to study if the question is character wise then you have already seen how to solve the characters in the previous video we have already solved it how to write in a file how to read from a file now here character wise how we have solved it suppose the upper case alphabets we have used read the whole file we have read then ch in text one by one character it has taken if the character is upper case then it will count here and if it is digit it will count so in the previous file this file how many upper case and how many digits are there it has displayed here same way if the question is lines starting with upper case character all the lines we will read one by one line we will collect and we will check here if it is upper case then it will display it will count and it will display how many upper case lines are there how many lines starting with the upper case character then these questions are normally asked in board exams and we have already solved it in our previous video that is word if in the question it is written that count of his or her in a file any file name will be given to you this file name will be given to you in the question any file name you can take so here using read we have collected all and split will split into words and then it will store all the words in this variable from this variable one by word one by one word we will collect and if that word is his small letter or capital letter it will uh, increment this c counter and if it is her then it will increase this c1 counter so here you can see number of his and her in the previous text you can see how many his and her only one his and one her was there so it was displaying here one his and one her you can check it also 
whenever you are running suppose you have changed the text there so when you will run it here also it will change here see number of his has increased to two because we have added a line at the end after that also we have added one line so it will change it clear when you will append any line then it will change it now the next question this is asked given in the sample question paper in cbsc sample question paper it is given the words whose length is less than four characters so to collect the word what we do we just read it and then we will split it so we will collect the words one by one we will collect it and we will check if the length of the word is less than four then it will display those words which are less than four characters then in the next question a different file a story file we have created and we have written it now here the question was how many words is there in story dot text so these type of questions are asked in board exam so this question is count of words how many words count of any variable it may be suppose count of words in story dot text so here we will count how many was is there in story dot text file same way we will read the file here you can see we have used read and split in a single line so this also will work some students are writing first read and then they are splitting it so that is also functioning some students are writing here dot split so that is also working so all the three ways are correct any method you can use there now it is counting total number of verses it is showing how many verses there so these are all the questions now all the questions you just go through text file questions all one by one you solve it if you have any doubt you ask me next uh, video already one binary file video i have made one more i will make for all the many questions i will add in this and i will show you all the binary question as well as all the csv questions so all the answers you note it down in your class work copy as well as in practical copy also you will write the question as aim this programs as procedures and output whatever it is showing the output so if you are having mobile in pydrat 3 you type the programs and see what output it is showing and just write the outputs after the procedure so you solve all the questions if you have any doubt you just ask me so i think you all have understood if you have any doubt you can comment me like this question was asked by one student how to write from one file to another so i have shown here so whenever you write any doubts that this question this portion i want ma'am please explain me this topic nicely in whatever language hindi or english you want you just comment me i will make that video and i will share with you so i think you all have enjoyed this session so thank you have a nice day